A charge transfer complex CT complex or electron donor acceptor complex is an association of two or more molecules, or of different parts of one large molecule, in which a fraction of electronic charge is transferred between the molecular entities. The resulting electrostatic attraction provides a stabilizing force for the molecular complex. The source molecule from which the charge is transferred is called the electron donor and the receiving species is called the electron acceptor. The nature of the attraction in a charge transfer complex is not a stable chemical bond, and is thus much weaker than covalent forces. Many such complexes can undergo an electronic transition into an excited electronic state. The excitation energy of this transition occurs very frequently in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum, which produces the characteristic intense color for these complexes. These optical absorption bands are often referred to as charge transfer bands, CT bands. Optical spectroscopy is a powerful technique to characterize charge transfer bands. Charge transfer complexes exist in many types of molecules, inorganic as well as organic, and in solids, liquids, and solutions. A well-known example is the complex formed by iodine when combined with starch, which exhibits an intense blue charge transfer band. In inorganic chemistry, most charge transfer complexes involve electron transfer between metal atoms and ligands. The charge transfer bands of transition metal complexes result from shift of charge density between molecular orbitals that are predominantly metal in character and those that are predominantly ligand in character. If the transfer occurs from the MO with ligand-like character to the metal-like one, the complex is called a ligand-to-metal charge transfer LMCT complex. If the electronic charge shifts from the MO with metal-like character to the ligand-like one, the complex is called a metal-to-ligand charge transfer MLCT complex. Thus, a MLCT results in oxidation of the metal center, whereas a LMCT results in the reduction of the metal center. Resonance Raman spectroscopy is also a powerful technique to assign and characterize charge transfer bands in these complexes. Topic donor acceptor association Equilibrium charge transfer complexes are formed by weak association of molecules or molecular subgroups, one acting as an electron donor and another as an electron acceptor. The association does not constitute a strong covalent bond and is subject to significant temperature, concentration, and host, e.g., solvent, dependencies. The charge transfer association occurs in a chemical equilibrium with the independent donor D and acceptor A molecules D plus A minus minus D A display style C E D plus A D A in terms of quantum mechanics this is described as a resonance between the non-bonded state D A greater than and the dative state D plus A minus greater than the formation of the dative state is an electronic transition giving rise to the colorful absorption bands. The intensity of charge transfer bands in the absorbent spectrum is strongly dependent upon the degree equilibrium constant of this association reaction. Methods have been developed to determine the equilibrium constant for these complexes in solution by measuring the intensity of absorption bands as a function of the concentration of donor and acceptor components in solution. The methods were first described for the association of iodine dissolved in aromatic hydrocarbons. The procedure is called the Benesi Hildebrand method, named after the authors of the study. Topic: <laughs> Charge transfer transition energy. 
the absorption wavelength of charge transfer bands, i.e., the charge transfer transition energy, is characteristic of the specific type of donor and acceptor entities. The electron donating power of a donor molecule is measured by its ionization potential, which is the energy required to remove an electron from the highest occupied molecular orbital. The electron accepting power of the electron acceptor is determined by its electron affinity, which is the energy released when filling the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. The overall energy balance delta e is the energy gained in a spontaneous charge transfer. It is determined by the difference between the acceptor's electron affinity Ea and the donor's ionization potential A, adjusted by the resulting electrostatic attraction J between donor and acceptor delta E equals E a minus e i plus j display style delta e equals e underscore a e underscore i plus j the positioning of the characteristic ct bands in the electromagnetic spectrum is directly related to this energy difference and the balance of resonance contributions of non-bonded and dative states in the resonance equilibrium topic <laughs> identification of ct bands Charge transfer complexes are identified by color. The color of CT complexes is reflective of the relative energy balance resulting from the transfer of electronic charge from donor to acceptor. Solvatochromism, in solution, the transition energy and therefore the complex color varies with variation in solvent permittivity, indicating variations in shifts of electron density as a result of the transition. This distinguishes it from the pi asterisk pi transitions on the ligand. Intensity, CT absorptions bands are intense and often lie in the ultraviolet or visible portion of the spectrum. For inorganic complexes, the typical molar absorptivities, epsilon, are about 50,000 L mol minus 1 cm minus 1, that are three orders of magnitude higher than typical epsilon of 20 L mol minus 1 cm minus 1 or lower. For DD transitions, transition from T2 g to Eg. This is because the CT transitions are spin allowed and Laporte allowed. However, DD transitions are potentially spin allowed but always Laporte forbidden. Topic: <laughs> Inorganic charge transfer complexes. Charge transfer occurs often in inorganic ligand chemistry involving metals. Depending on the direction of charge transfer they are classified as either ligand to metal or metal to ligand charge transfer. <laughs> ligand to metal charge transfer LMCT complexes arise from transfer of electrons from Mo with ligand-like character to those with metal-like character. This type of transfer is predominant if complexes have ligands with relatively high energy lone pairs example S or, C, or if the metal has low-lying empty orbitals. Many such complexes have metals in high oxidation states even D0. These conditions imply that the acceptor level is available and low in energy. Consider a D6 octahedral complex, such as IRBR63-, whose T2 g levels are filled. 
As a consequence, an intense absorption is observed around 250 nm corresponding to a transition from ligand sigma mo to the empty eg mo. However, in IRBR 62 that is a D5 complex two absorptions, one near 600 nm and another near 270 nm, are observed. This is because two transitions are possible, one to T2 grams that can now accommodate one more electron and another to e.g. The 600 nanometers band corresponds to transition to the T2 grams mo and the 270 nanometers band to the e.g. mo. Charge transfer bands may also arise from transfer of electrons from nonbonding orbitals of the ligand to the e.g. mo. Topic trend of LMCT energies oxidation number plus 7 manganese 8 oxide minus plus 6 cro 42 minus plus 5 VO 43 minus examples include manganese 8 oxide minus the permanganate ion having tetrahedral geometry is intensely purple due to strong absorption involving charge transfer from Mo derived primarily from filled oxygen P or orbitals to empty Mo derived from manganese 7. CDs, the color of artist's pigment cadmium yellow is due to transition from CD2 plus 5's S2 pi. HGS, it is red due to HG2 plus 6's S2 pi transition. Fe oxides, they are red and yellow due to transition from Fe 3D O2 minus pi. Topic: Metal to ligand charge transfer. Metal to ligand charge transfer (MLCT) complexes arise from transfer of electrons from Mo with metal-like character to those with ligand-like character. This is most commonly observed in complexes with ligands having low-lying pi asterisk orbitals, especially aromatic ligands. The transition will occur at low energy if the metal ion has a low oxidation number, for its d orbitals will be relatively high in energy. Examples of such ligands taking part in MLCT include 2, 2, bipyridine, bipy, 1, 10 phenanthroline, phen, CO, CN- and SCN-. Examples of these complexes include Tris 2, 2 bipyridyl ruthenium 2. This orange color complex is being studied, as the excited state resulting from this charge transfer has a lifetime of microseconds and the complex is a versatile photochemical redox reagent. W CO 4 Fen Fe CO 3 Bipy. Topic. Photoreactivity of MLCT excited states The photoreactivity of MLCT complexes result from the nature of the oxidized metal and the reduced ligand. Though the states of traditional MLCT complexes like RU BIPI 32 plus and RE BIPI CO 3 CL were intrinsically not reactive, several MLCT complexes that are characterized by reactive MLCT states have been synthesized. Vogler and Kunkeli considered the MLCT complex to be an isomer of the ground state, which contains an oxidized metal and reduced ligand. Thus, various reactions like electrophilic attack and radical reactions on the reduced ligand, oxidative addition at the metal center due to the reduced ligand, and outer sphere charge transfer reactions can be attributed to states arising from MLCT transitions. MLCT states reactivity often depends on the oxidation of the metal. 
Subsequent processes include associative ligand substitution, exiplex formation, and cleavage of metal metal bonds. Topic: <laughs> Color of charge transfer complexes. Many metal complexes are colored due to d-d electronic transitions. Visible light of the correct wavelength is absorbed, promoting a lower d electron to a higher excited state. This absorption of light causes color. These colors are usually quite faint, however. This is because of two selection rules. The spin rule, delta s equals zero on promotion, the electron should not experience a change in spin. Electronic transitions that experience a change in spin are said to be spin-forbidden, such as those in spin-forbidden reactions. Laporte's rule, delta L equals plus or minus 1 dd transitions for complexes that have a center of symmetry are forbidden, symmetry forbidden or Laporte forbidden, charge transfer complexes do not experience dd transitions. Thus, these rules do not apply and, in general, the absorptions are very intense. For example, the classic example of a charge transfer complex is that between iodine and starch to form an intense purple color. This has widespread use as a rough screen for counterfeit currency. Unlike most paper, the paper used in U.S. currency is not sized with starch. Thus, formation of this purple color on application of an iodine solution indicates a counterfeit. Other examples Hexaphenylbenzenes like H fig. 2 lend themselves extremely well to forming charge transfer complexes. Cyclic voltometry for H displays four well-separated maxima corresponding to H plus right up to H4 plus with the first ionization at E1 half of only 0.51 electron volts. Oxidation of these arenes by for instance dodecamethylcarboranyl B to the blue crystal solid H plus B minus complex is therefore easy. Fig. 2 synthesis of H plus B minus complex, alkyne trimerization of bisubstituted alkyne with dicobalt octocarbonyl, delocalization is favored with activating groups such as a D group. The phenyl groups are all positioned in an angle of around 45 degrees with respect to the central aromatic ring and the positive charge in the radical cation is therefore through space delocalized through the six benzene rings in the shape of a toroid. The complex has five absorption bands in the near-infrared region, which can be assigned to specific electronic transitions with the aid of deconvolution and the Mulliken-Hush theory. <laughs> <laughs> Electrical conductivity In 1954, charge transfer salt were reported with resistivities as low as 8 ohm cm in combinations of perylene with iodine or bromine. In 1962, the well-known acceptor tetracyanokinodimethane (TCNQ) was reported. Tetrathofovalene (TTF) was synthesized in 1970 and found to be a strong electron donor. In 1973, it was discovered that a combination of these components form a strong charge transfer complex, henceforth referred to as TTF-TCNQ. The complex is formed in solution and may be crystallized into a well-formed crystalline solid. The solid shows almost metallic electrical conductance and was the first discovered purely organic conductor. 
In a TTF-TCNQ crystal, TTF and TCNQ molecules are arranged independently in separate parallel aligned stacks, and an electron transfer occurs from donor TTF to acceptor TCNQ stacks. Hence, electrons and electron holes are separated and concentrated in the stacks and can traverse in a one-dimensional direction along the TCNQ and TTF columns, respectively, when an electric potential is applied to the ends of a crystal in the stack direction. Superconductivity is exhibited by tetramethyl tetraselenofulvalene hexafluorophosphate TMTSF2PF6, which is a semiconductor at ambient conditions, shows superconductivity at low temperature, critical temperature, and high pressure, 0.9 K and 12 kilobars. Unfortunately, critical current densities in these complexes are very small. Topic. See also Organic semiconductor Organic superconductor